Lesson five, the use of relational and Boolean operators. Let's start by looking at relational or as they're sometimes called comparison operators. We have equals equals, which is uh, a way in Python to say equal to. We have not equal to, which uses an exclamation mark. And then we have less than, and less than starts small and gets big. Uh, followed by greater than, so greater than starts big and gets small. And then we have less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Let's just see these in practice. If we try three equals eight, we can see this is false. If we try three does not equal to eight, we can see in this case, it's true. If we try three is less than eight, we can see that this again is true. If we try three is greater than eight, we can see this time it's false. If we try three is less than or equal to eight, we can see in this case, it's true. Or finally, if we try three is greater or equal to eight, we can see in this case, it's false. Now let's take a look at Boolean operators. There are three main Boolean operators, and, or, and not. When you use and, you can see clearly here that both comparisons need to be true for the final comparison to be true. So if we've got greater, x is greater than nine and x is less than 100, in this case, x is 10, so x is greater than nine, so that would be true. And the second one, uh, x is less than 100, which is true because 10 is less than 100, that would be true in that particular case. However, if one of them was false, then it would be false overall. Or is slightly different in that one can be true and the other can be false and it still tells you it's true. So in this case, x equals 50, x is less than 40. So 50 is less than 40 is in fact false or x is greater than 10, which uh, as x is 50, 50 is greater than 10, that would be true. So with an or, only one needs to be true for it to be true. And finally, not basically is the reverse of what it was originally. So in this case, x is 30, y is 10. So x is less than y, in which case that's, that's false. Uh, 30 is not less than 10. Uh, so that would be false. But because it's a not in front of it, it reverses it and it becomes true. Let's look at an example. In this case, x equals 10 and y equals 20. And we have x is equal to y divided by two. So in this case, x is equal to y, which is 20 divided by two, which is 10. So 10 equals 10, which is true. And y is greater than or equal to 10. Uh, y is 20. So again, this is true. So when I uh, run this particular program here, it will tell us this is true. So in the case of an and here, because they're both true, overall it's true. Let's look at another example now. It's similar to the first one, x equals 10 and y equals 20. x is equal to y divided by two, so 10 equals 10. And the second part, x is greater or equal to 20 is false. So we've got one true this time, one false. Uh, for it to be true with an and uh, Boolean operator, they both need to be true. So when I press uh, enter here, it tells us it's false. If we now change the and into an or here, it's a similar situation, but this time uh, we've got x equals y divided by two, so it's 10 equals 10, which is true. Uh, and the second part of it is x is greater or equal to 20. This is false, but with an or, only one of them needs to be true for it to be true overall. So when I uh, click here and I press enter, it tells us it's true. Let's quickly show you a not. In this particular case, uh, we've got x equals 10, y equals 20 x equals y is in fact false because we have a not in front of it it's the reverse of what you would expect so it becomes true so let's just enter this here and we find this is true 